A point on the hypotenuse of a triangle is at a distance of A and B from the sides of the triangle. Show that the minimum length of the hypotenuse is A raised to 2 over 3 plus B raised to 2 over 3 whole raised to 3 over 2. Let O be the point on the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. Therefore, OE which is perpendicular to BC will be equal to A and OD which is perpendicular to AB will be equal to B. Now let angle C be equal to theta. Therefore, angle AOD is also equal to theta as the two triangle AOD and triangle OCE are similar. Now in triangle AOD, cos theta will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which is equal to OD over AO. Therefore, length AO is equal to B sec theta. Similarly, in triangle OCE, sin theta will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is equal to OE over OC. This implies that OC is equal to A cosec theta. Now, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to AC which is equal to AO plus OC. We have obtained AO and OC earlier. So, substituting it, we get that the hypotenuse is equal to B sec theta plus A cosec theta. Now, to minimize the length of the hypotenuse, we will differentiate hypotenuse with respect to theta. This gives dH over d theta is equal to B sec theta tan theta minus A cosec theta cot theta, where derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta and derivative of cosec theta is minus cosec theta cot theta. Now, we will set this equal to 0 giving us b sec theta tan theta is equal to a cosec theta cot theta. Rearranging the terms and taking all the trigonometric functions on the one side and a and b on the other side, we get sec theta tan theta over cosec theta cot theta is equal to a over b. Now, the sec theta over cosec theta can be written as tan theta and cot theta which is in the denominator can be taken to numerator by changing it to tan theta. So, we will get tan cube theta is equal to a over b. This implies that tan theta is equal to a over b raised to power of 1 over 3. Now to verify that tan theta is equal to a over b raised to 1 by 3 is a minima or maxima, we will obtain the second derivative of hypotenuse. Here to differentiate this, we will have to apply the product rule on both the terms. So, derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta, derivative of tan theta which is sec square theta, derivative of cosec theta which is minus cosec theta cot theta and derivative of cot theta which is equal to minus of cosec square theta and then taking sec theta common in the first two term and cosec theta common in the third and fourth term, we get an equation which has terms which are always positive in the domain 0 to pi by 2. Hence, second derivative of h is always greater than 0. Therefore, the hypotenuse will be minimum at tan theta is equal to a over b raised to 1 over 3. Now, hypotenuse is equal to b sec theta plus a cosec theta. So, we will have to find out sec theta and cosec theta. We know that sec theta is equal to under root of 1 plus tan square theta. Substituting the value of tan theta and then taking b raised to 2 over 3 common in the denominator and then taking it outside the square root we get sec theta is equal to under root of a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3 divided by b raised to 1 over 3. Similarly, we can find out cosec theta which is equal to 1 over sin theta and it can also be written as sec theta over tan theta. We have already obtained sec theta in the previous step substituting it and substituting the value of tan theta we obtain cosec theta is equal to under root of a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3 divided by a raised to 1 over 3. Now we can substitute sec theta and cosec theta in the formula for hypotenuse and in the first term we have b in the numerator and b raised to 1 over 3 in the denominator. So b raised to 1 over 3 gets cancelled out giving us b raised to 2 over 3 in the numerator. Similarly, in the second term, we will get a raised to 2 over 3 in the numerator. Now, we can take the under root a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3 common in both the terms, giving us a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3 under root of a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3. 
will replace under root by power of half and then combine both the terms to get hypotenuse equal to a raised to 2 over 3 plus b raised to 2 over 3 whole raised to 3 over 2.